Hey guys, it's Basic Sorgonauts for the June 17, 2015. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters. We're going to talk about some Twitter video today as a nice little uh, uh, post uh, yesterday's Instagram video discussion. Uh, but in the meantime, please check out Sorgatron.com with all these videos and posts. And I got a big thing about LinkedIn last week. And of course, the, the Power Hour I do with LB, uh, all that kind of stuff. Please check it out, Sorgatron.com. So, uh, big announcement yesterday, of course, uh, The Verge is where I found this information. Uh, Twitter introduces autoplaying video in your timeline, but you can opt out. So so we're not unfamiliar with this, and I think it's good that Twitter wasn't the first one to do this sort of thing. Uh, we already have video autoplaying when we're on our Vine, when we're on our Instagram, when we're on our Facebook, especially was probably the biggest noise when it came out. And I think it's a good thing as somebody who's been as somebody who's been putting video on these platforms, as we've discussed, and I'm a big advocate of put your video on Facebook, uh, not solely on Facebook. I don't think you should launch your show and put it on Facebook and that's it. But I think it's a uh, good resource to consider outside of YouTube. It's where a lot of the people are. It's shareable. It pops up. It pops up in the storyline because you put it there in the news feed. It pops up in the newsfeed. Now, of course, Twitter is something different. You're, we're getting a little bit of a, a, of a curated experience with Twitter. But notice it's flipped. When you go to Twitter initially, it's just a timeline, right? You will get everything, typically, if you go to twitter.com slash whatever and you, go, you see your timeline. Um, but now we're also getting, versus uh, Facebook, when you go to Facebook, it's curated for you. You have to do something special, like a friends list, like something like that. Like, do, do see all my friends and see all their updates. To see all their updates, and and I think that that serves to that serves different purposes. Um, Facebook, you know, somebody was saying last night on one of the shows, uh, Facebook is getting really good about news curation. Okay, sure. Now with Twitter, I, you know, I, I think with the video. I think it helps. I've been seeing, in some cases, way better numbers on Facebook than I do YouTube. Now, I put something to YouTube. I got to do the work, right? Other than uh, uh, accounts that already have a few hundred subscribers, in in our cases, or a thousand or whatever it is, you have to do the social work. You have to put it out there. You have to put it on Twitter. You have to put it everywhere else. So the communities that will find you will will do it. There's not that built-in, baked-in sharing versus facebook you put that out it should organically do very well and yes there's 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 boosting your uh your 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 facebook posts and everything paints pay, some more eyeballs so it gets the algorithm works it out until it gets in in front of more people because remember most people that go to facebook.com are seeing that curated news feed but the autoplay i think is a big thing you know not just seeing a still and a play button like you do with youtube like you used to do uh, if you post a YouTube to it, I think that's that's very significant that, you know, you are able to see the beginning. And if you're making your video right, you know, we talked about yesterday doing these uh, small videos, right? Small musical videos on Instagram. And, and those things really carry over because we've caught, we're already made a thing 15 seconds. So it's going to hopefully capture you at the beginning so when you see that first few seconds pop up on Facebook as you're going through your stream, hopefully that's the thing that's going to get people to go check it out more. Or if you do have text on the screen, um, some kind of motion, something going on, you can put a small ad of some sort, creatively, creatively mind you, um, not blatantly, uh, right in there. And you've got that. You've seen that. That registered in your brain somehow. Now, I think Twitter is kind of the same issue. So I'm playing with, of course, I've been playing with Twitter video, but trying to do some stuff natively, do some responses, uh, you know, things like that. And some of it's just talking head stuff, like Periscope's just me talking into this 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 phone here, and I don't know how exciting that is. Hopefully my words are a little more exciting than the view of my face and chest region. Hey, chesticles. Um, anyways, that was, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, I, I think it did need a little something because I felt like... Uh, I was under the impression that my videos were kind of falling on deaf eyes of sorts. 
I don't know how much they're being seen. And I don't, I'm not even sure if there's a stat system. Uh, of course, there has to be in some sort. But I don't know where I go to say, hey, here's how your videos are doing on Twitter. It, it's not really built out. I mean, it's really kind of half implemented because you do have to go to a mobile device in order to even do anything with Twitter video. Much like, and, and I think that's an interesting decision. And I think that's, um, you know, we talk about Instagram. And there's a, actually a thread on one of my social media LinkedIn groups saying, okay, so wait, how do I do Instagram video how do, or Twitter video in particular? And, and try to get the understanding. Like, no, you have to get the video onto your phone. Even if you don't take it with your phone, you have to get it onto your phone in order to upload. That's the only way they're letting you do that right now. Much like Instagram. Instagram's doing that with everything. You can't even manage it outside of it, outside of the Instagram app that I'm aware of. Very limited in some cases. And there are a few apps, but it's not, I'd say it's not recommended if it's not official. You know, versus Hootsuite uses all the APIs and everything else. And they just don't have anything except for bringing that content into Hootsuite. And you can respond to it, but I can't schedule a picture through Hootsuite, which is a pain in my butt when it comes to the idea of trying to implement but that's smart because then you won't have big brand big multi-brand managers uh, uh dropping a lot of same stuff in instagram and junking it up i think that probably helps a bit so you don't see as much junk on there um same with video on youtube you know how inundated with video you would probably be if they just opened that up and everybody's able to hootsuite their commercial how many times and and tag you in every post, and then now that thing auto plays every time it pops up as a re as an auto response or as a as a reply. I think I think that's a good decision there. Um, also, they're doing a good thing that you can opt out. Now I'm kind of wondering uh, where does it say you can opt out? It, it's playing it. You tap the video once to turn on audio, much like you're used to already on Facebook and Instagram. And that's nice that they're they are saying they are saying that you know you. You know, you're familiar with this and these other applications probably. Let's just emulate that. So I wonder if this will extend to Vine posts. I wonder if this would extend to Periscope posts. Wouldn't it be nice if uh, somebody's going through their stream and, and this was tweeted out when, when we started our Periscope here this morning and they get a little bit of an action shot, be it the first few seconds, which will probably be a mistake for the first few, few seconds of like anybody's Periscope is typically their feet. Uh, or, or something else, or the ceiling, or well, you know, while they're getting the thing prepared, and you hit record, and you're not thinking about what you look at, and and that, that unfortunately, that is the thumbnail in Periscope. So I've had some really bad ones where it's just like this is a picture of my desk and the mess on my desk. You know, uh, that's why if you notice, if you're on my Periscope for the basic ergonomics, I started off pointing this way over towards the uh, Wirecast screen and my my soundboard because at least that looks interesting. I think to somebody passing by, I would hope so, uh, it, rather than just my face or the back of this computer or something like that. So, um, uh, back to Twitter video. Uh, I, I think uh, I, I, I think there's a lot of response there. I, I, I was really interested in, in some discussion. Uh, Gary Vaynerchuk. I know I bring up his name so much, but he really is kind of an inspiration on a lot of things. He's got a lot of good ideas, and it really kind of jog my ideas uh, as well. And. Uh, uh, definitely go check out um, Ask Gary V. Just look, just look up V E E. Uh, just, just, just search for that on on YouTube. You'll you'll find his his video series uh, pretty easily, and it's a great Q A kind of thing. Um, I'd love to do a Q A kind of thing, but I'm not sure if I know as many things as he does. But it'd be interesting to do. We could turn this into a Q A. Well, we have people on on on, on uh, Periscope, so. Anyways, uh, but but the idea that uh, you know somebody responds to you on something and you respond to them not in text but in video, and it's ready made to do that. You really can't do that easily with another platform. But just be there on your phone and say, "Oh hey, love the thing you did this morning," and you pop it up and say, "Hey hey Joe, thanks thanks a lot. Really appreciate that." It's more than just an empty thanks, buddy. Text you know, back in Instagram or in, in Twitter and, and, and that's it. And there's no emotion. You can, it, it, you know, when we talk about social media, how many times we say it's about engagement, it's about, it's about connection. It's about social connection. And then they, they click that thing and it's you and your face and your, you know, it's all the visual cues for you to look at it. And kind of knows like, wow, he really does give a crap, you know, hopefully. Hopefully. And these are SB genuine. 
and this, this is talked about a lot on there too. It has to be genuine. You do you genuinely give a crap that that person liked you, shared you, replied to you? If you don't, I don't know why you're on Twitter in the first place. Probably, probably you're like, well, everybody's on Twitter. That's where I'm going to go and make money. But I like that. Twitter video, check it out. I think it's some good moves. Twitter's moving some good stuff there. Um, it's just a pain in the butt that I have to do it individually for every platform. But if you want to do it right, you got to do it natively. You got to do it right. You got to There's got to be song in there somewhere. It has to be. Anyways, check out everything at Sorgatron.com. All the shows going up at SorgatronMedia.com today. There's four things. Wow. We recorded for over five hours last night. I think that equates to one, two, three. There's probably about, there is probably uh, at least four and a half hours of content there to fill your day to day. So subscribe to all that stuff on iTunes, including this, Basic Sorgonomics. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.